the greatest racing heroes and heroines of the sport of kings. Racing heroes, Far Lap. Far Lap was born in October of 1926 and passed away in April of 1932. That wasn't very long to show the entire world what a great champion he was. A New Zealand-bred thoroughbred racehorse widely regarded as New Zealand's greatest racehorse ever, although more people refer to him as Australia's greatest horse. To say Far Lap had heart would be an understatement. His heart was remarkable for its size, weighing in at 6.2 kilograms, compared with a normal horse's heart at 3.2 kilograms. Far Lap had a heart as big as all outdoors. He achieved incredible success during his distinguished racing career, but more importantly, he was an icon for the masses. They could identify with his underdog status. Far Lap gave people hope during the early years of the Great Depression as he won the Melbourne Cup, two Cox Plates, the Australian Derby, and 19 other weight for age races. He was called the Red Terror, but affectionately known as Bobby, to his strapper Tommy Woodcock. Sired by Night Raid from Entreaty by Winky, the same sire as the Melbourne Cup winner Night March, his trainer, Harry Telford persuaded American businessman David J. Davis to buy the colt at auction for a mere 160 guineas, a great bargain. At least it was a bargain until Davis saw the colt, gangly, face covered in warts, and an awkward gait worse than Charlie Chaplin. Davis was furious, so to placate him, Telford agreed to train the horse in exchange for a two-thirds share of any winnings. Telford leased the horse for three years and was eventually sold joint ownership by Davis. Although standing a winning racehorse at stud could be quite lucrative, Telford dealt at far lap, hoping the horse would concentrate on racing. As his achievements grew, there were some who tried to stop him. Criminals tried to shoot far lap one morning in November 1930 just after he had finished a track workout. They missed, and later that day he won the Melbourne Stakes, and three days later the Melbourne Cup as the odds on favourite at 8 to 11. Spot on mate. It was his trip to North America that etched his place in racing history. His greatest performance was winning the Agua Caliente Handicap in Mexico in track record time in his final race. Underdog. He won in a different country, after a bad start many lengths behind the leaders, with no training before the race, and he split his hoof during the race. Yeah, an underdog. Good on ya mate. Davis had Far Lap shipped to North America to race against Telford's wishes. Far Lap strapper Tommy Woodcock became his new trainer, and he was shipped by boat to Agua Caliente Racetrack near Tijuana, Mexico, to compete in the Agua Caliente Handicap. It was offering the largest prize money ever offered in North America racing. Far Lap won in track record time while carrying 129 pounds. From there, the horse was sent to a private ranch near Menlo Park, California, while his owner negotiated with racetrack officials for special race appearances. Early on the 5th of April 1932, Tommy Woodcock found Far Lap in severe pain and with a high temperature. Within a few hours, he hemorrhaged to death. An autopsy revealed that the horse's stomach and intestines were inflamed, leading many to believe the horse had been deliberately poisoned. At the time, he was the third highest stakes winner in the world. As a tribute, they mounted his hide on display at the Melbourne Museum, his skeleton at the Museum of New Zealand, and his heart at the National Museum of Australia. Can you believe how they treated this poor animal even after his death? Museums. Far Lap won 32 of 35 of his final races including Mexico. In the three races that he did not win, he ran second on two occasions, beaten by a short head and a neck, and in the 1931 Melbourne Cup he finished eighth when carrying 150 pounds. The theory surfaced that Far Lap was killed on the orders of US gangsters, who feared the Melbourne Cup winning champion would inflict big losses on their illegal bookmakers. You be the judge. 